Tech, Ariella TV, and of course, Guy Perez. We talked so many things about in the past where you came from and how you become a radio talk show host and now you want to be going to TV talk show host. You know, it's combined. It's almost the same thing. I started when I was young in the Philippines. Uh, my family has a radio station and also um, I started here and also in California. I was in Channel 19, Channel 14 and here I am KLAV, KRLV. So I started with them. And I enjoy it because I, I think I am, this is not about uh, become popular, it's become what you love and what you, you know, what Your you want to do, the passion. And of I course to you. help, to help the, uh, you know, small businesses out there that we can actually help them to blog them or help them out to send world to mod, you know. That, that's a beauty about it. Yeah, no, and and that's I think the wavelength that I'm on too now, and uh, me uh, creating this the reset show, and the, and the reset show is basically, um, <clears throat> it came to mind when every time that I would be done yoga, it started with yoga, and then just the uh, the mindful and the kindness words that came out of people when they were just connected. Mm. And then I noticed when we're disconnected, that's when if somebody cuts you off on the freeway and you're disconnected, you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> get out of there. What What the <laughs> hell are you doing? Yeah, yeah I get but mad at them too. <laughs> when, when you're connected, mm. I think that's where the magic comes in. Mm. And that's when you're just like, oh, come on in. If you're connected, you know, somebody wanna cut you off, ah, come on in. Ah. Maybe he got you know, sometimes work. I give them way to get in, but sometimes I don't because if I do that, especially in the traffic, right, in the traffic jam, if you keep allowing these people to get on your, you know, in front, then you're gonna end up not coming, you know, going through because True. you're yeah. allowing every them all the time. Every situation is different, and and the part where I said, you know, what, every time when I would hear somebody speak. And then their, their words are just connecting me even more mm -hmm. and being connected, body, mind, and soul. Mm -hmm. I said, and my background in radio and my background in shiatsu therapy, I was like, what if I just have a camera and what you just told me, how many more people are ready to hear what you just told me that could help them? So I said, yeah, you know what, I'm going to start this re uh, reset show. I was on an internet radio show, mm -hmm. and then I started the reset show. So mm -hmm. that's basically when we reset, that's where all the magic happens. So well, since we're talking health, you know, uh, we got to talk earlier about your health. What happened to you? Tell me, uh, you said you had a uh, slight, you know, uh, heart attack. No, and stroke. How, stroke, I'm sorry, yeah. yes, stroke. So it, how old are you now? It's, a cool, it's the coolest thing. Um, uh, I'm 55 years old, and You're I'm one of those young. guys. Yeah, I don't take any medication. You know, I haven't mm -hmm. in, in the past week. I've been taking a lot of medications, which is kind of cool. But uh, um, what? I never. That's kind of cool. Taking medicine? No, it's not. I know. I you know, know yeah, I know. yeah. But then you know, growing up, I never took medication, and I did yoga, and I, you know, try to be mindful for what I ate. And then last week, Monday, not this past Monday, the last week, Monday, two, two March, 5th, March 5th, I was at work and I just started leaning left and leaning left and leaning left and, and I couldn't keep my balance. And it went on for like an hour and then I called my roommate. I mm. said, you know what, I think I'm going to come home because I'm not feeling good mm. and I just was going to go and sleep. Mm. And then I was trying to get my uh, supervisor's attention and uh, he was kind of busy so he, he couldn't come right away. And then finally he, they let me go. But I was so conscious that I could drive. So from the strip, I drove all the way towards uh, the west side of town to go to an urgent care. As I got out, of the, got out of the car, it was getting even worse. I couldn't even focus, you know what I mean? It was like, and then urgent care, t you know, got me and started helping me and she said, you know what, you don't need an urgent care, you need a hospital emergency. So my roommate just lived, uh, we lived right around the corner for that urgent care. He came to pick me up and uh, within 10 minutes, seven minutes we were at the uh, Southern mm -hmm. Hills Hospital. Man, Southern Hills Hospital, if you guys looking for a hospital, man, that place rocks. But anyway. Um, That's a credit to them, Southern, yeah. where are the locations? Southern Hill on um, Sunset, Sunset and Fort Apache. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The staff, but it, everything just fell in place. 
um, I had to, I couldn't even walk anymore. So, so as soon as you get into the emergency room, why, why did you de decide to drive if you're feeling something? Why, why, why that moment that you didn't realize that there you have a slight... Uh, I didn't know what was, what was happening. But then I still was focused. When I sit down, my, everything was straight. But when I stand up, that's when I it might well, just balance, like, yeah, yeah. Balance. the wow, equilibrium. that's so weird. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, ah. And then, you know, my supervisor goes, would you want me to call an ambulance? He goes, nah, I'm fine. You know what I mean? The ego, like, no, I can do it, you know? But then I was like, if I got to stop, I'm going to stop, you know? But wow. I was like driving and I was conscious. And But when I got out of the car, it was worse. But when I got to the emergency room, and uh, I was my my roommate was hanging on to me. I was hanging on to him. The nurse came, and uh, they brought me in this room, and they kind of was feeling what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I was still conscious, like, all right, let's get out. let's get this done, and I gotta go. I haven't eaten lunch, you know. I was thinking all that that good stuff, and then uh, you know, I had like ten people in my in my uh, emergency uh, the room. Boom. They were like taking off my clothes and putting IVs in me, and then we had a CT scan, and you know I was still like eh, whatever. I feel good. I wasn't in any pain, and then they finally found that I had a blood clot in in the back of my you know my brain. Ooh. So we were looking at the time. My roommate had all the the times that I text him, and you know we were looking at the time, and I think the uh, chief. Uh, doctor that was there they came into my room and they said like hey you have a, a, a blood clot in your brain and we have this medicine that you're in that hour to to take and we can it, it'll thin the blood out and shoot that blood clot out so that even was like perfect timing too so I went you know to the doctors on perfect timing the people the staff everything and then I was in the ICU Monday night, Tuesday night, and then Wednesday I was discharged from the ICU. Wow. Yeah, and I couldn't even walk. And then, um, you know, it was like, as soon as I got out of the bed on Wednesday, right before I got but discharged. But you do exercise all the time, right? Yeah, so, you know, and- And, and that, you eat healthy food, right? Yeah, so the, the yeah, the, mm. and that's the part where it kind of hit me and says, you know, and I was kind of in denial, I was like, why is it happening to me? But then it's just switched over to go in from the why is this happening to what can I do? Because then the divine source or whatever you, your label is giving me this ex experience. So let's ride with it. You know what I mean? And then that's how I've been seeing it. And uh, even when I was in, in, in the ICU room, mm -hmm. I had my phone mm -hmm. and I was learning about blood clot i was learning about strokes you know blood clot can also uh be a aneurysm mm -hmm. you know because that's derive it the luckily you know the doctor find out yeah and, and again you know everything was planned perfectly i mean you know if i went home on that monday mm -hmm. and they let me go earlier i probably just want to go home and sleep and then you probably die but, in a slip. Yeah, or you know something. You have a yeah. blood clot. But then you know that's all hearsay or shoulda, coulda, woulda. But then everything's planned out. Even like now, I, I can walk, I can stand. You know, I did my first yoga class like two, uh, two, day, two, three days ago, and uh, you know my mind and everybody else is giving me this this confidence of, oh man, you're healing quick. You know, my mom, my mom, you know, struggled and I'm feeling like how grateful I am that I have all the strength, just a little numbness on my face, you know what I mean? You so, can still feel it. Yeah, so, but you know, I, I'm just taking it I'm full so stride. I'm so happy that you went through all the way, you didn't go home and get some sleep. Yeah, and you, you know, know and that, was, that was the decision that, you know what I mean, it was presented to me and that's where, you know, I mean, the divine source well, got me here got me here that's and that's learning to everybody that we cannot neglect our health you know if you feel something you know oh, you yeah. see the we doctor right yeah. yeah and, and, and you neglect know, your health you know and, and and that's the part where i put it on instagram and i kind of took it off uh, later on but um i didn't know and anybody can get it you know i i was in the hospital and i was looking at the story about this uh um uh NFL player from the Patriots. Mm -hmm. He had even bad. He couldn't even move his arm 
within a year of re rehabilitation, he was back playing in the NFL. But then I was just thinking like, whoa, he's probably more healthy than I am. So I don't think, at, at this point in time, I just feel that, you know, do the best that you can. We'll talk about that in our third segment. We'll yes, right do that. Back. We'll talk about that. It's good. Health. It's juicy. <laughs> 